Okay, so this is a slide depicting the junction between the colon and the anal canal. And so we'll just take a closer look at the epithelium in both of these. So we've come from the, the small intestine where we had lots of extensions of mucosa called villi that projected into the lumen in order to increase the surface area. That's not needed in the colon. In the colon instead there are long straight tubular glands filled with again enterocytes that are columnar epithelial cells. Just take a closer look here. Um, but in between those there are lots and lots of goblet cells. Goblet cells have got quite flat nuclei at the bottom and then these big round cytoplasms where they produce lots of mucus. The mucus is there to help the passage of the faeces as it's become drier and more solid as it's making its way towards the anal canal. The other enterocytes that you can see here, sort of lining the colon, are there to extract salt and water. So they are absorptive cells, they are enterocytes, and they do have microvilli on the surface. If we just look a bit closer, we might be able to see a hint of a sort of brush border, kind of blurred part here. Here's one of the columnar cells, enterocytes, with its nucleus there. Okay, so that's quite different to the anal canal, which doesn't have these long crypt-like glands. Let's just go back down in magnification. We'll move along and we'll zoom in here. So the junction is just there. We'll move in here and see what kind of epithelium we have there. So here the epithelium has changed. We now have several layers of cells. The top part of the cells, the top layers of cells are squamous. So this is a stratified, i.e. layered epithelium. It's a stratified squamous epithelium because the top cells are flat and squamous. The basement membrane would be along here. So this is the way it is. This is stratified squamous because now it, we need a tougher epithelium. So you get a stratified squamous epithelium in the anal canal. And then as we move along across, it becomes keratinized. Here you can see a stratified epithelium, stratified squamous, but with keratin at the top. So that's now the epithelium of the skin on the outside of the body. So there's a junction here where it becomes keratinized uh, from just a, a normal stratified squamous to stratified squamous keratinizing here. And that's marking the distinction between the skin on the outside and the mucosa of the GI tract on the inside. So this video has shown the junction between the large intestine for um, optimized for its function of absorbing salt and water and lubricating the feces as it moves through and then finally to a tougher epithelium in the anal canal uh, meeting the skin on the outside of the body.